Steel Hunter is a limited time game mode in World of Tanks, and a more enjoyable version of Frontline. This game mode is primarily played by plebs who only play the mode to get the tank tokens, so that they can get a shiny new tier 9 tank, which will allow them to suck in the random queue as well. If you do not suck donkey balls, then you can have a fuck ton of fun in this game mode, while simultaneously making consistent credits. Steel Hunter is essentially Fortnite but for intellectuals. You start as a weak tank, and need to find gear, so that you become progressively stronger. As you play, the map's playable area will become smaller and smaller, forcing players to fight. The last tank standing wins. There are 5 tanks for you to choose from. There is the Freedom Mobile 9000, a shittier version of the Walker, a little French tank that nobody knows how to play correctly, a Fat Rikes Mobile, and an overpowered British shitstorm that always seems to make up half of the matchmaker. The Raven is the American tank among the five choices. It has good mobility and great pen, while also maintaining acceptable levels of armor. Not to mention it also has the most game-breaking ability in the entire game mode. The trap is the most infuriating thing to play against in the entire game. It essentially makes it so any tank that is inside an area cannot move, which allows the Raven to brutally violate its enemies from behind without them being able to fight back. The Veryag is the Soviet tank among the five selections. This thing's only real advantage is that it can have big alpha. It is slow. It turns about as well as a boat on asphalt, its TPM is shit compared to other tanks, and its armor has multiple glaring weak points. The Veriak has the option to equip a rear-mounted turret, which can make it the strongest tank in the game mode in certain scenarios, but those situations are about as likely as the Green Party winning the 2020 election. The Arlequin is the French option among the five, and it is also the most difficult tank to play among them. If you don't suck ass however, the Arlequin can be the most annoying little shit in the game, being an AMX-13, 57 on steroids. Like the AMX-13, 57, it has no armor, which means brawling is not advised. You wait for your opportunity to third party a one on one fight, drive by your enemies without giving them an opportunity to fight back. The walker is what the Veriag strives to be. It has more reliable armor, can almost turn kind of decently, and has better alpha than the Veriag. The walker is also heavy as fuck. This means you can use your speed boost ability to slap your enemies harder than Chris Brown slapped Rohanna. The final tank of the 5 options is the Harbinger, the British tank. This thing is up as hell. Its TPM is fucking insane, it has decent speed and turret armor, and its abilities are among the best in the game, allowing you to go big angry and hulk smashing your enemies to death. All of the tanks previously mentioned should always take the radio recharge upgrade, because the radio range upgrade is shit. The engine is entirely up to personal preference, whether or not you want to accelerate faster or have a higher top speed is up to you. The Raven should take mobility on its turret and hull and select the single shotgun. This gives you great DPM and penetration, and you are almost as good as the Harbinger. The Veriac should take the hit point oriented hull and the alpha damage gun. Whether you want more HP or more turret armor is up to you. The Arlequin should take mobility on both its turret and hull, and you should select the anti-tank machine gun, as its HE gun is shit, and double barrels in this game mode universally suck balls. The Walker should take HP on both the hull and turret, to maximize ramming potential, and you take the alpha damage gun, so that you can vaporize half of an Arlequin's health bar. You should select the turret rotation speed upgrade and the single shot gun for the harbinger. Whether you want more mobility or armor on the hull is up to you. This gun has the highest DPM in the game and when combined with the big angry can pummel entire tanks in mere seconds. This is how you play the steel hunter game mode. Now go out there and get up to rank 15 without even really trying. If you enjoyed this video consider checking out my other videos. If you did not enjoy this video, then why the fuck are you still here?